fellow immigrants, I want to talk to you about the executive orders that President Donald Trump has passed. I know he has brought a lot of fear to a lot of people. And you have a right to be afraid, especially with not knowing what the future holds for all of us as Americans. I come to you today because it is important that each of you read and understand what the executive order states because it can impact every one of us in some way or another. As it is right now, people were detained this weekend in New York and around airports all over America to stop people from coming into the country. Seven Muslim countries were banned. Two Muslim countries in Africa and five in the Middle East. However, that does not stop the executive orders from going the extra mile. One of the fears that I have with this order is the fact that people who have misdemeanors, which means that you could have been arrested for something very minor as a traffic violation over 30 years ago, you could be arrested and detained by a custom officer. So you need to know your rights before you leave the country. You need to understand what your rights are before you leave this country. Because we don't know what is next. Today it may be those seven countries, but tomorrow you may come and it is on your country, wherever you may be from. Because the way things are going, executive orders are being signed, and you, don't, you may be in a plane and when you arrive, you have the inevitable. You cannot enter the country. So please find out what your rights are before you travel. If you know you've committed a crime in the past, filing for your citizenship means that you may get arrested the day of your interview. So please try to find out what the executive order states for. Speak with an attorney. If you can't afford one, speak to the Catholic charities who provide free advice for you. There's a lot of places out there that give free legal advice. I also want to speak to the ones that are putting fear into people who are making audios that are going out in um, social media, telling people that they'll be arrested for certain foods, telling people that they cannot enter the country for eating certain foods. It is wrong. There's already a lot of fear in people for different things. Adding to that fear does not help because people are afraid. This is not a joke. This is a serious issue. And some of you guys are making a joke of it. It is people's livelihoods. We have American citizens that are born to foreigners who are going to get deported, who are going to lose their livelihood. What happens to, the ch to those children? But we are here making fun of something that is very serious. Let us be empathetic towards each other. Let us, let us come together right now to support ourselves. As immigrants, America is built because of immigrants. Everybody in America is a foreigner in one way or another because this country belonged to the Indians. So with the laws that are going on, all we need right now is prayers because even the ones that are Christians are not safe. When Muslims are banned, they may be, get radical and they may start going after us, the Christians. And these are our brothers and our neighbors. We love them just as much as we love ourselves. So let us come together. Let us support each other. But please go out, read the orders, go on the White House page, go on the State Department's page. Look at your local government's page. No, go to the immigration website, www.uscis.gov. Find out the information before you travel. Because you may be in the ear by the time you get here. You may have an order that your country is now on the list. So please, my brothers and sisters, try to find out before you travel. Thank you for taking the time to listen to me. God bless us all.